What's going on guys, it's Garrett and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, but right now on the screen is the final product that we will be making. So uh, definitely like this video, 50 likes, and I'll release the template, and also go follow me on Twitch in the description below. I stream about every single day, and uh, I hit 100 followers, so thank you guys very much. So I hope to see you guys in this tutorial, and definitely leave a like on this video. Peace out. What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm going to you guys a Black Ops 3 header. So you see the beginning of the video, I'll show you what the final outcome is, and it's really nice and really cool, and it's definitely something that's worth watching. So uh, getting right into the tutorial, you guys are going to need to download a few things. They'll all be in the description below. I don't, I don't really know what they all are yet. I'll be opening them later through the, the map. But uh, definitely, you guys are going to need a stock pack, uh, a couple brushes, uh, fonts, and a couple, I guess, icons if you guys are going to be using those. So uh, it's a really easy tutorial. It's not going to take that very long, but uh, we're not going to have the exact, excuse me, the exact outcome of this. Um, it's going to be very close, but not the exact one. So keep that in mind. So let's get right into it. So what you want to do is go to Google and type in Black Ops 3 wallpaper, and this is basically where you choose your wallpaper in the background. So definitely keep in mind of what you're using. I like going to Black Ops 3 Specialist and looking through those just because it's easier to find stuff. So for my banner, it's going to have an orange tint, so I'm of course going to be using this one. Um, I don't really know. I think this is the Purifier. I believe so. I'm not really a, a good multiplayer kid. I'm not too much of a fan. So uh, once you download that, you can pretty much just reopen it into your Photoshop documents. And you guys are going to want to open a document separate of that of 1500 by 500. This is pretty much the uh, Twitter header size. So uh, you can pretty much drag this into your header and then you can put it wherever you want. I'm going to maybe shrink it a little bit. You can try to center it, I guess. Make sure you have your rulers on. Hitting Control H. Should click in the middle somewhere. There you go. So, uh, the next step you guys want to do, if I go back to my other header, you guys are going to see, i uh, click out of it, you guys are going to see that it's black and white in the background. So, this is pretty much what I did, I went to image adjustments, and I put this to black and white, and then, and that was pretty much it. So, uh, I have a font right here, this is just so I know what font to use while we're getting, while we get to that step. So, the next step I want to do is make this background black, and control I on the white, if it's white already. And then, there's a little opacity to about... 13. Next, I want to do make a new layer. Grab your brush on a size 100, not 100, excuse me, 500, and like a hard, like a good size white brush. And just kind of click around and bring out some highlights. And then you can put the opacity to like 10 or something. Alright, next up, you guys want to do make another new layer. Grab a black gradient or a black brush, excuse me, and then just kind of slowly go around the outside like that. Kind of darken the bottom and then lower the opacity of this. So that's just creating like a nice like backing. You guys can see it's a nice backing. So uh, that's pretty much the first part of this tutorial. The next step you guys want to do is add your stocks. So what you want to do is go over to the download of the description and download a sock pack. I'm gonna up up open it right now. I keep saying upload. I've been watching streams and upload and this and that. Sorry. So the next thing you want to do when you open this is go down to the green blood spark and you want to grab this and bring it into your header template and just kind of put it like that so you so you have uh, your green down here. Put the hue and make it like a nice orange and then take the thing and put it to uh, normal and then you can just erase the top right hand corner and erase the unnecessary stuff. So you have like little sparks coming out of the bottom like that. So uh, you can really mess with where you put these. I'm going to put mine like right about here. I'll duplicate it. Maybe flip it 180. I didn't do anything. Flip vertically. And then I'll put some like right here. And I'll kind of erase it. See how it sparks everywhere. All right. Next thing you want to do is go over here and grab this orange light stock. And then want to drag this back into your template. And put it so there's like a little bit of an orange glow where right you bottom there and put it on the screen, of course. Lower the opacity. And then put it below everything. Except for your gradient. And kind of lower the opacity to about 17. And then take your eraser and kind of erase everything except for like the top corners. So it's like this. You can lower the opacity a little more. All right. So uh, that's pretty much the almost the backing. If I go back into it, you guys can see I add a little more things. So uh, what else I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab some more stocks. I'm going to look through these ones. I'm going to grab, I think, the displacement one. 
I'm gonna put this in here and lower the opacity. And then take my eraser and kind of click around. So well, I'm gonna go right now that you guys can tell I do not like pretty much do whatever I want in these. Like I have a certain base of what I do, but I don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of just wing it. So I'm gonna grab the orange sparks too and put these on screen. And I'm gonna lower, or not lower, I'm gonna take away everything except for the corners. So. You have like some sparks coming around. So uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is make a new layer. You're gonna grab a orange color about right there. And then you wanna pretty much just take it in the bottom corner like this. And kinda put one right there and that glows a little bit. And then you can do it in the same corner up here. So that just creates a nice glow. And then if I go back in the stock pack, I'm not too sure if I have any, add anything else. I don't believe so. Actually, I'll add this. Go to the red bottom light, grab this, and drag it in as well. And put this to the bottom, put it to black and white. Not hue, black and white. And it's on screen already. And let's lower the opacity. And put it so, like, you can see it right here. And then take your eraser and kind of erase some parts. Just kind of just glows a little bit. You can duplicate it and you can move it over here as well. Just like that. So uh, the next thing you want to do is make a new layer and grab a rectangle. So since you already use an orange color, I'm going to be using the same one. And you're going to make a little kind of box in the bottom right here and put this on soft light. So that's kind of too big. You can maybe move it down a little bit. Right, but there's good. Duplicate it and move it up. So let's add a little bit as well. So you guys can go back. Oh, I think mine's a little too a little too dark. So you guys can see that I look at them. I see how it looks and I go from there. I don't always use the same thing. You guys can use this banner tutorial as your own and realize that I do not use the same stuff. I kind of like wing it. But I definitely try to keep the colors the way it looks the best, the most clean. Because if you guys are going with these colors and they look pretty uh, pretty dark, pretty weird, then you're not going to get anywhere with this banner. It's just going to kind of look like a mess. So I'm just going to redo these colors. It's really easy and it's really simple to do. redo them. And you pretty much just follow the same steps I did before. So I got this. So this is pretty much the backing that we have so far. We're going to go into other things. If I go back here, we're going to go to other things. We're going to go into the actual backing itself. So uh, what we want to do is make a new layer and make it about 1,500. You guys can put it to like 2,000. So the next thing you want to do is make the background black and control I and then taking a white square and then putting the fill down to zero. After that you can go to blending options, go to stroke and put an inner stroke on about six, hit control T, hold shift and move it 45 degrees. And you got you have to hit OK to making it a regular shape because I guess that's important. So you're going to pretty much just take these squares and you're pretty much just going to keep duplicating them hitting control J and then moving them around places. This is just so it creates a nice stock itself rather than you having to uh, find a stock that looks like this. So uh, I will be releasing a stock pack again soon of stocks that I'll be making like these. But um, that, I don't know how long that will be until that's done. So uh, definitely follow this. I also have a tutorial on this. It's called a stock making or whatever it is. So definitely check that out. So after you have added a bunch of those, make a new layer and then hit the first layer. Scroll down to the bottom rectangle and just merge them. And then you just drag them into your template like this. So you can take it and then you can put it on, let's just say soft light and then lower the opacity. Maybe make it a little smaller. I think the bigger they are, the more not neat they look. I think the smaller they are, the more of a nice approach you get. So you can do that, duplicate it, move it up here a little bit, duplicate it, move it down here. So well, you can take an eraser and you guys can just like click around in each one, like the middle or something, just to create a uh, more depth zone of something else. So you guys have that. So the next thing you want to do is go up into your Google again and type in grunge banner PNG. So you're going to hit images and you guys are going to find a image right here. And I will leave a link in the description for it. But you guys are going to take this and download it. I already downloaded it, I'm pretty sure. It's called a like grunge banner grunge, yeah. I'm going to just open that. And you're going to drag that into your template. So the next step you want to do is go to adjustments, color overlay, and just add that orange overlay onto it. I made it a little brighter. Alright. 
and then bring this upwards so it kind of just like seeps out. Sounds weird. And then lower the opacity. You're not going to put on any special thing. You're just going to lower the opacity. Actually, maybe put on soft light. It'll look decent. No, I didn't do anything. Just lower the opacity. You guys can put it below a lot of things. It doesn't necessarily need to be the top one. You got that. Duplicate it, and you guys are going to do the same thing for the bottom left-hand corner. So rotate 100, 180 degrees and put this in the bottom. So it's like that. So you go back into this. You guys are going to realize that that's pretty much all I did for uh, stocks, I guess. So we're going to add the text now. So the text is probably really easy to do. What you want to do is just take in a, any font you want to use. For fonts, I'm using this font called... I don't know what it's called. Dino Din Pro Medium. Din Pro Medium is a really nice font to use that I'm using, and definitely I, I would recommend using it. So what you want to do is just take in the size and kind of just make the text a little like, skinnier so it touches, and then go into this and realize that I did another orange color. So everything's in the orange color scheme. Hit color overlay and just make it the same orange. So Maybe a little darker. Hit OK, and then you pretty much got that. So uh, the next thing you want to do before we go into any more detail, there's a, a kind of like a little stock on that. What I did for this little stock is I took the background, I duplicated it, and I brought it above everything on the text. Hit hold and control, I clicked on the text, the little T, and then I hit control J on my top layer. I took this opacity and I put it on overlay. Did I? Probably not. Nope. I put it on. All right, maybe I put on multiply. Honestly, I'm not too sure what I put it on. Actually, now that I think about it, soft light. Yeah, I put on soft light, and then I just kind of lower the opacity to about 46 or about 40s. So you got your little text grunge effect. So uh, I don't know why it's still L7 suites. This isn't for L7 suites. I'm gonna put this to the, uh six there. No, six template. Right. Template. <laughs> Alright, so you can pretty much put a reset of that now. Sorry about that. I'll, I'll redo this step really quick. Um soft light. Alright, so you got your text. So the next step you guys are going to do is actually not make anything lowercase as I'm an idiot and I did it. <sighs> make sure everything's uppercase. I don't know. I, I, damn. Gotta redo this. Third time. Third time's a charm. Definitely make everything uppercase. I'm sorry about that. I forgot to mention that. It's really important to make everything uppercase. So uh, that's pretty much your text. What I did now is I... Why does this look weird? I'm gonna mess with that color again. That color is way too like depth. Like it's hurting my eyes. There you go. No, it's a little too. There you go. I just made a different color. But what I did next is I am wondering why this looks weird. See, the part with designing is when you, when you make something, remember how you make it, unless you're going to look like me. It's totally fathomed on why I can't figure this out. What was it on before? Soft light? Yeah, put it back on soft light, whatever. So what I did next is I made a new layer under the text, and I made a box just like this. Made it white and put it on soft light. Definitely this was on soft light. I rasterized it. I kind of made it so it's even and then I took an eraser and I kind of erased it like that and then I duplicated it and erased the second one like that took this one like that and then I lowered the opacity a little bit so it created like a nice little like slow grading on the text so the next thing I did is I added social links or add sponsors so uh for sponsors what you can do is go up here and you can type in like Red Bull logo PNG All right, I'm not gonna put Red Bull. Red Bull's that. Uh, put Control, 
control freak PNG. That's what controller on. You can take it one, make sure there's no background on it, because if there is a background, then you're gonna have to go through the hassle of taking it out. That's fine. What are you doing? Just save it. Open it up. Bring it in. Oh, ew. Look at that stroke. Ew. Gross. Put the stroke on text like that. But what I did is I just lowered the size like this. And I put one here. I went to color overlay. I made it. And I made this white. White. And then I can go up here and type in like monster logo PNG. Only reason I didn't use the red one is because it just looks weird sometimes. Monster, you need to fix your logo sometimes. I don't know, does anybody drink any energy drinks here? If they do, tell me which one. I want to see what the poll is of Red Bull versus Monster because I doubt anybody drinks anything else other than that. So I definitely want to see the polls. But definitely make these white with the color overlay. And just drag them in. I think they're white. I could be mistaken. Nope, they're white. And kind of make them the same size. Space them out. Relatively, uh the same and then you guys can add your other logos um what's another one dx racer if anybody has a dx racer chair too please let me know how it is i'm definitely interested in buying one for my back because i sit in a computer chair every single day of my life not every day but a lot throughout the day and i definitely get some back pains <laughs> I like go and I lay in my bed and I have like a spasm in my back and I'm kind of just laying there like contemplating like what I did wrong to re receive such a big pain. Alright, I'm not going to go too much in depth with these sponsors. I'll call spaces out so there's only three. So, color overlay. And I'll take these three sponsors. Move them somewhat in the middle. Space mount. DX racer or control freak should be a little more far apart and then you got that so you have more than one sponsor obviously I just do these because I can and then I go back to my thing and realize that I did another gradient so for this I did the same thing I just made a box behind the text and I put it to soft light and if I zoom in I move it down a bit Maybe keep it the same. And then, I don't really, I don't think I really mess with the uh, erasing and stuff. I kind of just kept it the same. So you guys, that. So the next thing you guys want to do is add your final stuff. So you add a square. You'd make a square, excuse me. Put the fill down to zero. Right click, blending options, stroke. Inner stroke about two. Color orange. Definitely an orange color. It doesn't really matter what kind of orange you use, whatever looks best. Maybe a little inner stroke three. 45 degrees. Oops. And then you pretty much just you click that. You pretty much just put these wherever you want. So this is where I just kind of mess around. I kind of put these here and there. And I kind of just mess with where I add stuff. So I definitely make them smaller, make them bigger. And it looks really nice, so. Put one over here. And I put one right here. So, you guys got that. Oh, it's really oddly spaced out. Alright, so you guys got that. So go down until you have the last rectangle you made and then merge these shapes and put these to soft light and lower the opacity a little bit. So you guys got this. And uh, we are not done yet. Believe it or not, we are not done. Go to file, save as PNG. Just save like Black Ops 3 or something, where you want to save it as. Let's save, open it back up. Duplicate it. Go to blur and go to lens blur. Put it on about 6 radius. 
and kind of just click around. Make sure you click on the text first. That's like the first thing you want to unblur. So you guys got that. Merge layers and file or excuse me filter and uh, distort. And you can put a displace on it. You can put more uh, blurs on it. Where is it? Go to noise, dust, and scratches. Put the radius down to about one. And click on the text again. So you guys got this. So uh, this is pretty much the uh, tutorial that I have so far. What I'm going to do for 50 likes, I'm going to release the template for this. So 50 likes, you guys will get the template for this. It's definitely worth giving it some 50 likes. Um, definitely worth it. And it's really awesome to do and watch. So, so uh, it's not that hard to make. It's actually really easy. I think it only took us about 20 minutes. I didn't really check the time. Yeah, it only took about 20 minutes exactly. So um, it's not hard to do. It's really easy to do. A uh, template of 50 likes. If you guys could, definitely go in the description below and follow my Twitch. I just hit 100 followers on it. I'm super stoked on that. And I definitely want to start streaming a lot more often. I stream about every day for about an hour or two, depending on what I'm doing throughout the day. But I'm definitely going to be streaming a little more. Throw. Throw. So, uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Definitely hit me up on Skype if you have any tutorial suggestions or in the comments below. So, 50 likes, template. And then definitely go follow my Twitch account, and I will love you guys forever. Last thing, last thing, um, I want to know what you guys want me to do for Christmas. I'm doing a giveaway. There's no way I'm hitting 5,000 subscribers in less than this month. So, Christmas, I'm doing a giveaway. What do you guys want? You guys want a mouse? Do you guys want a keyboard? Do you guys want a graphics tablet? Um, let me know what you guys want. I'll definitely hit you up with that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, like, let me know. Leave a like and a comment in the section below. And that's about it. So I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Peace out.